Think for a moment about all of the muscles in your body. Your arms, your legs, your diaphragm, which lets you breathe, your heart, which pumps blood throughout your entire body. One in 5,000 boys born today have a severe, fatal genetic disease that will eventually deny them the use of these muscles. By the age of 10, something as simple as picking up a spoon to eat from a bowl of cereal becomes an impossible task. By the age of 13, they lose the ability to walk and are confined to a wheelchair for the rest of their life. And most sadly, by the age of 30, they usually die due to failing lungs or failing hearts. Now, those of you in the audience who remember the Jerry Lewis Telethon know which disease I'm talking about, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In this disease, a single key muscle protein, dystrophin, is missing. Dystrophin holds together the complex architecture of muscle fibers, and without it, muscle eventually degrades, replaced by fat and fibrotic tissue, as shown in this diagram right here. There are currently no therapies approved for Duchenne, but a number are in the works. One strategy, known as cell therapy, involves injecting healthy cells into diseased muscle to replace this missing muscle protein. Now, if you look at the top row, you can see the problem with cell therapies. Most cells that are injected do not survive, and the few cells that do fail to form healthy muscle fibers. My work combines the fields of skeletal muscle biology and biomedical engineering to, to enhance the efficiency of stem cell therapies for Duchenne. I have a construct known as a hydrogel, something that's initially liquid but solidifies over time. This hydrogel, which is made up of both artificial and natural components, protects injected cells from the hostile environment of disease. As you can see in the middle row, cells that are injected with this hydrogel are four times more likely to survive injection after one week. And at six weeks, they express the missing dystrophin protein, shown here in green in the diagram. Now, you might say there aren't that many dystrophin positive fibers in this image, but that's okay. A little bit goes a long way. Restoring just 15% of normal dystrophin is enough to make a clinical difference. It's the difference between being confined to a wheelchair and being able to walk again, between dying before the age of 30 and living a normal life. Now, we've still got a long way to go, but with the concerted effort of clinicians, basic researchers, and everybody involved in this project, I really believe we can make a true difference in the lives of Duchenne muscular dystrophy patients. Thank you so much for your time.